6 back again in the 2018 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. I sure love saying that a lot. We've had it for a few days now, and this is my daughter, Brooke. Hi. <laughs> what do you think of the car so far, Brooke? Um, I think it's awesome. Okay. It's beautiful. Like, I, love, I think it's really awesome, and I love the color, especially. Cool. What's the fastest car that you think you've ever ridden in? Yeah, probably this one because I don't think I've ridden in many fast cars. Never, never in a fast car before? I don't think so. I guess so. we haven't had too many that were considered very fast, I guess. So anyway, this is my daughter Brooke. We're going to do a little reaction video just to get her, her take on the car, what she thinks of it. I'll drive around a little bit and then we'll get out on the highway for a second. So do you, you know what kind of car this is, right? Yes. All right. What is it? I don't know the exact <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway. It's not the Hellcat. I know no, that. No, it's not a Hellcat. made a big point about that. <laughs> I don't remember which the Hellcat's one it coming was. next. The Hellcat is coming next. Yeah. Right now it's a Scat Pack. Challenger, Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. So, anyway, this car has 485 horsepower. Quite a bit, but not a ton. By today's standards, it's not hugely powerful, but it's pretty powerful. There's a guy in a yellow Camaro. Should we wait for him to pull out and then we can see if he wants to? He doesn't, he doesn't want to look over. <laughs> so Brooke works at the same store that I do. Uh, quite a while now, I guess, huh? Like several years? 2013. This is 2013. Four years. She was just a little kid a few days ago, it seems like. Now she works at the same store where her dad works, and she's been there for several years. So yeah, we're going to cruise around a little bit. We're gonna, I'm stuck behind a truck right now. So yeah, as you guys, most of you know who are already fans of the, sh of the or not fans, I guess, but subscribers, um, Got the car Saturday, loving it so far. Can't get enough of driving it. I've just been driving around a lot just because it's so fun. So hopefully that feeling stays. And if I can ever get this truck to get out of my way. We're driving right at the sun too, so we're probably both squinting. This probably looks pretty cool. No, I've gotten to the point where I can just stare at it. <laughs> at the sun? Yeah. Oh my gosh. rocks off that truck. I think I'll back off a little. I don't want any broken windshields already. I'm sure it's common living out here in the middle of nowhere. The roads are just a mess. Of all times you get stuck behind a truck. So what's your favorite car, Brooke, if you're going to buy something? You had suddenly a bunch of money found your lap. Well, I'm not really a car. I think that, like old cars are really neat stuff, but like as far as modern cars go, I just want something I'm able to drive that is like roomy and comfortable. I don't really care. Yeah, any car that gets you around is a good car. Yeah. So I'm all for that. And like if I wanted to go on a road trip or something with some friend or a friend or something, and we wouldn't be like squished. Saturn's a little small and a little hard to get in and out of. It's like a go-kart, kind of. But it's a good little car, actually. Can't complain. It gets us where we got to go. It gets really good gas mileage, and the Prius is the same way. The Prius is a little nicer than the Saturn, of course, but uh, both little cars, they get good gas mileage. They get you where you want to go, so you really can't complain about that. It's nice to have something like this to have fun with, but... I don't want a pickup truck like everybody else in Superior. Yeah, where we live, everybody has a pickup truck. I have a pickup truck too, but 
everybody drives pickup trucks and everybody wants to know why would I buy a Challenger? You know, you can't drive it all the time and this and that and that. you know, why don't you get a nice pickup truck? Well, I don't want a nice pickup truck. It's boring to me. Old pickup trucks are cool to me. Uh, newer ones, I don't really, they don't do a whole lot for me, so. Here we go, Brooke. We were going 55. We might have been doing 60. But that's okay down here in Mexico. So we're in Mexico. We did 60 miles an hour. I don't know if the Mexican place like that very much, but we'll see. Okay. Well, it's, it takes a little while to slow down from 60. super fast but it's yeah. pretty fast but for around here where we live guys this is a really fast car for right here nobody really has anything around here there's one uh, retired doctor I guess he is or something he has a uh, he does have a Z06 and he has a, a ZR1 too but you never see him out I've seen this Z06 once and he's told me he has a ZR1 but I've never seen it so I don't think he takes them out um, there's a couple people with drag with full-on drag cars around here that can take them and go racing but as far as the street car around here there's really not a whole lot of fast cars I know where you guys are from, some of you guys in the bigger cities and even medium-sized cities probably have see Scat Packs and Hellcats and uh, you know new Camaro SS's and CL1's and all that stuff and all the nice Mustangs. You guys probably see that stuff all the time. Where I live, you don't see that stuff. You just really don't. It's pretty rare. When someone comes through town with something, everybody's like, oh, what's that? Because we live in the middle of nowhere. This town has 2,000 people in it. To give you some per perspective, the nearest, say, Walmart or McDonald's or something like that, is a 65 mile drive from here so as you can probably tell we don't have a lot of uh, a lot going on here so and I just had a cop pass me and then he went the other way so I'm not avoiding him or anything but I don't really feel like saying hello to him either so Brooks reaction. I don't know how long this video is. We've been gone a little while, but not too awful long. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna take my oh we gotta go to the store, don't we, Brooke? Yeah. I forgot I told her I'd take her to the store. I need to go get something too, so we shall. Turn the video off. Got a nice little lady here. I'm gonna let this other person go. We have a lot of intersections here in town that don't have a stop sign or a yield sign in any direction. You just have to treat it like a four-way stop and some people don't even realize they're there and they just fly right through. Luckily that person was paying attention. So we're gonna go this way. Then I'm gonna shut the video off guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the reaction. I don't think I scared her as much as I wanted to. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, share the videos, comment down below, let me know what you think. Really loving the car, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.